channel and if you're new to my channel welcome but you guys I've been in so many couple minutes on my buns well not buns top knot bun as you want to call it and I decided to share with you bunnies how I do it so if you would like to see how I do my bun my ninja bun top knot bun whatever stay tuned and don't go nowhere. And if you new to my channel, go and hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Go and hit it. Go and hit it right now. Right now. <laughs> but let me stop playing. But yes, let's get into this video. How I do my bun. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> This is some of the stuff you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need the hair. You can use any kind of braiding hair. Um, I just like this kind because they have, like, all my colors of my hair. Because my hair, like, well, I think about three different colors. <laughs> and they have all my colors of my hair. So, you're going to need that. Um, of course, a tie to tie your hair up with. And... By pins. Sometimes, sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't need these. Um, and I'm just going to untangle my hair with this brush comb. You're going to need a regular brush. And whatever you moisturize your, your hair with. And I love using this um, Jamaican castor oil. So I love using that. Let's put on my hair. And of course you're gonna need some gel and I got eco style, whatever your pre preference is. So um and that's the this is the eco style olive oil. And I purchased all this stuff at my local British supply store. And my hair is kind of crunchy right now because I did have a little gel on it earlier. So I'm just gonna use this to like get it, you know, a little damp. Um the Moroccan sea salt spray. So I'm just gonna use that to untangle. So yeah, so the first thing you're gonna do is gonna gel that hair up and I'll be back. Because if you want to like, you know, keep this hair for the week where you don't have to keep doing it or whatever, you can like dr blow dry it and put some um, spritz on it. But I'm not doing it because 
I might don't even wear my hair like this. I might just wear my natural hair this week. But anyway, so now that you got that, you know, your hair, um, oh, I'm sorry, I have to pick up, pick up this hair. Um, so you want to get the hair. Oh, sorry, this is over. I have to rush because I have to pick up my little boy, but anyway, so you're going to keep that rubber band on there. If not, if you don't feel secure with the rubber band, I normally just put another hair tie instead of using the rubber band. And you want to kind of like pull something in so it won't be so, you know, so you can be able, you know, to turn it. Like when like this is the time I was saying like if you want to use the I can't talk if you want to use the um by pins or not and you can make you know your ends real thin where you can just you know be able to pin it up in there not pin it up in there but you know put it in there tight and you don't have to use a um bobby pin or if you just want it extra secure you can. So I'm just pulling the ends a little bit. And then, this is what I'm going to do, you guys. If you can see. I'm just going to wrap it like it's a bone around my head. And around my um ball. Take these two ends. And you guys, my um bun do never it never come out the same. So I remember the first time I ever did it. I may insert pictures. The first time I ever did it. So you guys, like I was saying, I'm taking um. The two pieces like this, and you just mainly just twisting it. But see, I do mine like they say you supposed to. Well, some people twist theirs at the same time, but honey, bad. Honey, got time for that. So I just. Twisting it, twisting it. See how you can still see my hair? I just push it in now. And then you can take. Uh, yeah, I'm not even watching the mirror. I'm looking at myself in the camera. So I don't know if it's cricket. And I am going to take a bobby pin. Like, I can, like, suck it in there, but I want it extra secure. <laughs> so I use the bobby pin. And now I'm taking the second portion of... Oh, so stringy. The second portion... Of the braiding here, I'm just twisting it. You 
could pull, don't pull that tight, but pull him tight. Oh, and it's like stringy. I'm gonna take my other body pan. See how high it is? It's kind of high. And just hook the bobby pin in. You can add more bobby pins if you want. You know, the extra security. Yeah, and that's how you do it. Super easy. Super easy. And that is my bun. Let me get on them edges though. <laughs> Okay, you guys, this is the finished product. I just, you know, got the Gorilla Snacks, like I was saying, with the little toothbrush. Just got some of them baby hairs out and just swooped it and played with it. That's all I did, do my little curly things. Just put the, put some, I got the equal style gel and just, you know, curl that. Well, my, it automatically the curl, because I got that fun hair. <laughs> so yeah that's all I did you guys and like I was saying it's super easy to use braiding hair to me than um track hair to do the bun it come out much better and I think it lasts longer so yes and it's super tight so it's not going nowhere girl it's not so yeah I get a lot of compliments on my buns so I just wanted to share with you bunnies how I do my buns. So yeah, see y'all later. Peace. <laughs>